हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू इट्स हरिंदर एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय चैनल ई आर हरिंदर सिंह इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट टैब नेविगेशन नेस्टेड नेविगेशन एज यू कैन सी इट ऑन इमुलेटर एंड दिस इज द कोड सो वी विल कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम दैट कोड एंड नाउ वी कैन डिस्कस अबाउट ट्रार नेविगेटर and drawer navigations configurations screen configuration and content configurations so let's start with it first of all we have to install the react navigation drawer installed now run the application let's delete that navigation option so it looks clean you can see set the header mode to none you can see there is no header now same for that now save it you can see so <clears throat> now we have to create a drawer navigator just leave this const drawer navigator is equal to create drawer navigator let's import it from first of all delete this import statement react navigation draw create yes so it's supported so let's create home screen first screen name home stack and the other screen settings screen settings stack and draw navigator here you can see when we swipe it's showing there settings home so let's add some navigation options to draw navigation so add here navigation options draw icon <coughs> to tint color icon will be imported from native base name home style color just close the tag and save it replace curly braces with remove that save this you can see now same for this screen just change the name of the icon 
times two seconds yes you can see this page okay After that, we can add some draw navigator configurations to our sidebar. You can see we can set initial root name, like you can set it to setting. You can see setting is now first root set it to home. <coughs> Draw lock mode to locked open. drawer type like back you can see drawer type is set to back it's appearing from back set it to slide it slides and the other one is front now all the content from the page is behind the sidebar draw background color blue sky blue see sky blue we can set drawer position to left or right default is right position drawer position to left or right set it to left left is default <coughs> we can set drawer width it is number or a function which returns the width of the drawer if a function is provided it will be called again when the screen's dimensions change so set it to 200 for now you can see it's a bit smaller than before edge width set it to 400 means it allows for defining how far from the edge of the content view the swipe gesture should activate you can see just 100 you can see 
from here yes it's working but from here it's not working 200 it's working from here it's working from here it's working not working 400 we can see it's working from here to here yes so it's the edge width set it to 200 for now next is hide status bar to true when set to true drawer component will hide the os status bar whenever the drawer is pulled or when it's in an open state you can see status bar is hiding back now it's open hide status bar come back status bar animation default is slide it is animation of the status bar when hiding it we can use it combinate bin hide status bar so set it to fade you can see it's hiding like it's fading back i hope you understand it next one is overlay color overlay color you can set it to red you can feel the difference here see next is lazy whether the screens should render the first time they are accessed it defaults to true set it to false if you want to render all screens on initial render it's true default set it to false means all both the screens now rendered when overall applications rendered initialization after that one thing is unmount inactive routes whether a screen should be unmounted when navigating away from it it defaults to false you can see let's remain it false i will show you how it works let's go to the home screen component did mount sorry component did mount sorry here alert mounted mounted you can see it's mounted now settings home is already mounted that's why it's not showing alert now you can see again home it's already active unmount inactive routes set it to true now when we go to settings home is unmounted because that is an inactive route now go to home you can see alert is showing now okay i hope you understand this just comment this after that 
there are some content options too we can add it to the drawer like active tint color to red you can see home is active that's why its color is red now setting is active same like inactive inactive tint color to green I think is smaller yes active background color to yellow background color is yellow for active one we can choose it for inactive two gray see there are lots of other content options we can add like items active team key active tint color first items are the array of routes can be modified or overridden and next one is active item key which is key identifying the active root the unique key for the current root means active root so next is active tint color label and icon color of the active label active background color inactive tint color inactive background color you can set on item press function to be invoked when an item is pressed then on item press is used as a function we can add items style items container style label style active label style inactive label styles icon container styles after that we can do one thing just go to the home screen add container container form native is header left title right set it according will inside the body we can close the right tag because we don't need it's 
set title to home add a button on left side button icon name menu transparent you can see now on press this dot props dot navigation dot open drop you can see on opening a draw when we click on this icon drawer is automatically opening so after that we can use some other functions close drawer and toggle drawer close drawer is used when we have to close the drawer from a specific button when we want to toggle the draw we can use this dot props dot navigation dot toggle draw so i hope you understand it properly on setting page we don't have any header that's why it's blank here on home we just added header here so i hope most of the things we have did with the drawer navigation are done so hope you like the video thanks for watching we will discuss about switch navigator and animated switch navigator in the next video Till then, take off. Bye-bye.